Hey, welcome to Mike's Trains and thanks for joining me for another video. Um, so we're back on the layout this week and what I want to do now is get this sidewalk that we did last week uh, installed into the layout and we're going to get these couple backdrop buildings put in and then we're going to do one other thing before I believe we're going to have to stop and wait for things to dry. So let's get started with this sidewalk and here are the pieces of sidewalk. I've got two of them. We're going to start with this longer one here and flip this over and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this with some white caulk. I would normally use gray because it'll blend with what goes underneath it but all I have is white All right, so with this, what I'm doing is I'm going to spread this caulk kind of in a thin layer, but I'm not going all the way out to this. We're not going to go all the way out to the outer edge, um, and I'll explain why in a little bit, but let me get this all spread out here. All right, so we're going to roll with that. So. Hopefully this shows up on the video, but we kind of stayed away from this outer edge. This is the edge of the curb, and we're going to slip this underneath the building. Go like that. And then we'll push this all the way in and then lay it down. Now, what I need to do is attach this building to the backdrop. Now, what I should have done that I did not do was add some adhesive strips in the back of this that I can attach stuff to to be able to stick it to the backdrop, but I didn't do that. So, what I have, I found these in one of our drawers in the house. These are glue dots, they're for scrapbooking. And they're actually pretty sticky, so I'm going to try something different, and I'm going to take these, and I'm going to put them on the corners of the building, like this. I'm going to stick them in a few different places, and then this should hold, I'm hoping, this whole thing in place. like that and then we'll just push this back onto the wall all right and that should hold it they should be fine now we want to put it in the parking garage Now, one more building, one more building to go. So now we have this building. So this one I have to cut a section off because this is going to go all the way at the end down here and it's going to finish that look there. So what I need to do is mark this and then cut it. And that's it for that. So let me bring the camera down to this end of the layout and I'll give you a look. You can kind of see the whole, how this all looks together. So this is what we're looking at over here. So we have this small building right here and of course everything would continue off the layout. Then our building, then the parking garage over there. 
and this is pretty much done to the roadside you know next next part out would be the road and then we work on this section here where this gas station is going to go and so on throughout now the other thing i want to take care of is this area down here this is that area that we started working on but i didn't have the plaster casting uh, hydrocal plaster for that um, i do have it now and you can see i made the two rock castings that are going to go there and those are going to go like that but they need to be set in with um, sculpt a mold so why don't i get some of that mixed up and we'll get that taken care of all down there all right so i have the sculpt a mold here and this you can kind of see um, i mixed it really thick um, it's more like a paste in here very thick so let me let's go ahead and get that stuff put in so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these out and I'm going to fill up the back side of these Okay, so that's how we're going to end with that one right there. I'm not going to go any further with this. Um, once this dries up a little further and firms up, I can go back and smooth this in and work it out a little bit more. But for the time being, that's about as far as I can go. Um, the next part we need to take care of right here. We need to handle the sidewalk area that's going to go in the front of this and the same as we did with the the sidewalk on the on the building i'm just going to take this with a little bit of caulk like that doesn't need a lot and then we're going to set this right up to the front of the building like this like that And that's, that's what I have, that's it. Now we need to as well add, um, the roads also need to get added across the whole front of this. There's an entrance way here, of course, that goes in here with road. There's another one over here that goes with road. And then of course the road that comes back through here. Um, but I don't have those yet. Um, I, I think, um, that's about as far as I can go for right now. Maybe when this dries, we'll see if we can't come back and take care of maybe getting some of this starting into the paint. So let me let this dry up and we'll come back and see what's up. Okay, so now this is all dried up. I've come through a little bit and I've smoothed out as it was drying some of this stuff in here. Um, and this is all filled in here and we're ready to move on to throwing some paint down on here. Um, gonna do this real quick, real easy. Um, all I've got are two bottles of paint here. These are from Walmart. Um, just this stuff here. It's a, it's a couple dollars for a tube. All I'm gonna do is I have a palette here and you can see it's dirty already. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze out some black don't need a lot and a little bit of white okay so we have these and then I have a cup of water here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just dip the brush 
into the water, get it good and wet. And I'm gonna throw this out here. I don't care if it's on the other paint. Um, it just adds to the color if need be. And I'm just gonna mix up a sort of a gray color. And this is all gonna be varying shades of gray because I'm doing granite. And we're gonna do a couple washes over this. So I'm thinning it down really thin. Okay, so that's like that. And then I wanna take some black, just black. I'm gonna put it in this cup over here. Now that one I want mostly water. Okay. So we're gonna take the black first and I'm just gonna run it. I'm gonna have to put some more water on that. And I'm gonna run it so that it runs down everything. And I know everybody has a different way of doing this, but this is how I do it. And it's been working pretty good for me. I'm gonna fill up all of this. You don't want to leave anything undone. Now most of this color is going to get covered up. All right. So now we're going to take a little bit of the heavier, lighter gray, and I'm just going to go over the tops of this. And I'm not covering it completely. And I'm leaving some dark areas in there so you can kind of see. Let me see if I can get close in. The camera looks pretty dark here, but okay. And now I'm going to lighten that even more. And I'm just going to keep adding to this gray here with water. See, now we have a lightly colored gray. And you don't want to, the way I, re, I look at it is you don't want to, um, I say kill the color, right? So you want the color to be some of the other colors in there. You don't want it to be a solid color. So then we'll just hit this. Like that. And we're going to leave some dark areas, some light areas. Okay. And then we're just going to let that dry, I think. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. And I think we'll call that done. And then we'll come back in a little while. Um, when that's dried and we're just going to do a quick dry brush over the top of that and that's going to be it and that will actually look fairly good it's going to kind of look like sort of like that back there um, you'll get that kind of a look to it um, so it does look fairly good but at this point like I said we have to let this dry up and uh, We'll come back in a little while. This will take about, oh, half an hour or so. All right, so now this is pretty much all dried up. Um, I let it sit for about an hour. Now I'm gonna take some of this white paint that's left in my palette here, uh, right here. I'm gonna take some of this paint and I'm gonna take a piece of paper and we're gonna gonna wipe off most of it like that and then we're just gonna go over the high points of the rocks just lightly hitting 
and it's going to bring out the details of what goes on in there. That actually looks pretty good. Um, I think we'll we'll leave it at that. And then the only other thing left to do is we'll pull off this tape. And then I'm going to touch up the um, the blue on there. All right. So I have my blue paint, and this is this is the cover from the uh, container. I'm just going to take this. I'm going to touch up on the top. So now that whole area is complete. And then on the top side, we're going to hit that with a little bit of brown. All the white sculpt -the mold on top needs to be covered in brown. So let me get my brown paint. Now for this one, out of the cover again. I'm going to use a little bit of water on my brush. Same brush. I'm not even really going to clean it. I'm just going to continue right along and get my cup of water here. And some brown paint. And we're going to touch up all of this. And that's going to be it. That's all I'm going to do for any of this and uh, as far as paint goes. So that's going to be done. So the next step, of course, would be the grass up on the top of the mountain here. We want to grass over all of this. Of course, I have to touch up that blue again. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, so at this point, we can now start the rest of the regular scenery. So. Actually, as I'm looking at this, I, I think I want to, I just want to bring the dirt on the top of the rocks down a little bit further. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this down here and I'm going to cover the tops right here. There we go. And maybe some down into here. There we go. There. That looks a little bit better. We'll bring the dirt a little bit more forward to the front of the rocks. It gives everything that blended in, you know, goes together appearance. Um, and we'll, we'll call it done at that point. I mean, I could tinker with this all day, but you know, somewhere along the way comes a comes a point where you know you, you got to actually call it done and be done. Yeah. We'll go at it like that. I, I'm going to be done. I, I cannot. I can't. I, I, I will fiddle with this all day long if I, if I don't stop. So that's it. I'm going to call this done. Let me move the camera around to the other side so you can get a different view of this. All right. So this is from the other side. Um, you can see, of course, you can see the brown spot I put on the wall. But how the, rocks, uh, the, the ground comes out and just ends at the rocks and it just goes out that way. Um, so I think that's going to be it. I, I, I'm not going to do any more. Um, let's call this done for today. Um, we'll come back next week and we'll finish up this whole back mountainside. What I'd like to do, and I said I was going to do it earlier, is I want to static grass this whole area here. 
right? I want to I want to tree that heavily tree that, and I think I'm going to put a backdrop on that to kind of go across this whole area and blend into this area right here. So. That being said, that's next week, and th that may change, but I, that's that's the plan I have for right now. And we're going to grass all that up and tree it and do the whole thing. So at this point, let's call this done. Um, if you're just finding me for the first time and you like what you saw, please, by all means, you know, subscribe to my channel. Love to have you along. And if you like what you saw, please like and share my videos. Um, you can also visit my website at mikestrains.wordpress.com. Um, you can get some ideas of what I, what the layout used to be before I tore all this this whole area apart and started again. Um, and you can probably see why I redid this. Uh, it wasn't the greatest. Uh, so anyway, um, all that being said, um, until next time. Happy modeling.